Hey everybody, finally uploaded a video, I found some time. Only because I'm going home at like 6 o'clock in the morning tomorrow to Dublin, so... I decided if I was going to do a video tomorrow I'm going to be too wrecked because I have to meet my friends, so... I decided to do it now at, uh, what time is it? 20 minutes past 1 in the morning. So, okay. Yeah, here we go. I was out canvassing with my dad, trying to get him votes today. I have to say, in the Boglands, we did quite well. Everybody was supportive and actually remembered him and knew who he was and remembered things that he had done for them and that was really, really nice for me to see um, because I knew that he worked hard. I know that he works hard. I mean, for God's sake, I'm not kidding when I lie that the man does not know what a weekend is. He has no concept of what a weekend is. Um, he works a weekend. He works every weekend. Um, even Sundays, his phone is not switched off. It's like he sleeps with his phone. He's, I don't think he even knows what his PIN number is for his phone anymore. His phone hasn't seen the off button in I don't know how many years. He charges his phone every night. So, I mean, God knows. If we're eating dinner around the table, even if we have guests and his phone rings, he answers the phone. If that's not dedication, I don't know what is. But, in saying that, he is part of the Fianna Fáil party. I don't know how much people know about Ireland from outside of Ireland, so quick run up on the history. Uh, I'll keep it as brief as, as possible. Um, there's basically a coalition government in the Republic of Ireland. It is the major, the majority is Fianna Fáil. They're like the most powerful political party that there is. Um, they would be not left wing, but they're moderate. Moderate liberals, I would say. Moderate liberals. Um, maybe go so far as to say moderate right wing. They would lean to more more towards right wing, but they're not right wing. They're they're moderate. They support anti gay rights. They support gay rights. Anti gay rights. They support gay rights and gay marriage and all that kind of thing. Um, so they're they're pretty good. They're what you want in government, but they are failing at the moment. They are failing very badly. Um, they've been in government for about. 15 years, I think, they were re-elected in this time, about two, three years ago. Um, no, no, it was shorter than that, maybe two, one year ago. About a year or two years ago. My memory on these things is very bad. The Taoiseach, by the way, is a uh, Prime Minister, it's what we call the Prime Minister. In England, the Prime Minister is just called the Prime Minister, in Ireland it's called the Antishakt. An means the, Antishakt means Prime Minister. So. On t-shirts. Try saying that 20 times faster when you're drunk and not Irish. Um, <laughs> our t-shirts is Brian Cowan at the moment. He was appointed to the position by the former Prime Minister, um, who nobody's happy with. <laughs> Either of them. Um, Bertie did a great job while he was in office, but we've quickly realised that the condition that the economy is in. Um, The Celtic Tiger, which is what we call the boom, um, the economic boom, we call it the Celtic Tiger, is dead and gone now. Um, poor Tiger. Um, poor Kitty. Um, but it was a lot less successful than we were made to believe because the banks were borrowing out so, were loaning out so much money for land and businesses and this kind of thing that they kind of thought they would get it all back and then the global recession hit and uh, ooh, 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 not getting that money back so there are people that are in major debt um, won't name any names but there is a person that I know of and he bought a lot of land put it all in his son's name his other son's name and his daughter's name. And now, thanks to the bank loaning out all the money to him, 
His kids owe 500,000 each. Can you imagine anyone owing 500,000 euro? I mean, my god. How do they think this was a good idea? But, you know, I mean, it was, it was a good economy, people took risks. They had the money to do that, I accept that, but obviously a lot of them didn't have the money to back them up. The risks, I mean. Um, this guy sure didn't. Um, wow, is his kids paying for it now? His kids must hate him. But anyway, moving along, moving to my life. Um, yeah, I've decided that uh, things have become too expensive in Dublin. Um, I'm surviving, like barely surviving. I am on the bread line. I am not kidding you. Um, I'm not kidding you. Um, the problem with me is that I'm still getting too many hours to go on the dole, so I can't get social welfare. Um, and the joke is that if I were doing like part-time hours, I could go on the dole and I would earn more than what I'm earning at the moment. So, But I don't want to do that. I don't want to go on the dole because it's just a mess in this country at the moment. Um, in my hometown alone, they had to open one of the sports centers as a secondary um, social welfare office because there's so many unemployed in our town. No, I've been on social welfare before, I don't want to do it. If I've, I've got a full-time job, it's bringing some money in. I'm lucky I can move back to my parents' place, which is what I'm doing, which is where I am now, I'm in the conservatory. Um, and I can live here rent-free, bill-free, food expense-free. You know, I, obviously I'm going to give them money. I mean, they're going to fight about it and tell me to keep my money and all this kind of shit, but... If I'm gonna live here, I'm gonna contribute. Um, I'm gonna. I mean, I'm used to doing housework now. Like in the three and a half years that I've been off, living away from home, I, I know how to do housework. I can wash my own clothes, all this kind of stuff. Um, so my mother doesn't have to iron my stuff. She doesn't have to wash my stuff. You know, I can. You know, she says, you know, I don't have time to clean this room, that room. I can do it. I'll do it anyway. I'll clean the bathroom, whatever. Um, it's only fair, really. Because let's face it, I'm over 18, I'm 22, I'm nearly, I'm 23 in two months. I mean, you know, she doesn't have to cook for me anymore, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm sure I'll do my own food shopping as well. Like, she says I won't have to, but I will anyway. Um, she's too good. So, yeah, I'm moving back to my parents' place. I um, kind of didn't want to have to do this because all my friends are in Dublin. Um, my doctor's in Dublin, my job is in Dublin, but then I was thinking I could just keep my job and commute every day. Um, I used to take the train to college, I used to have to get the train and then get two buses to college every morning, so I used to get up at half six in the morning um, every day while I was in college. And I mean, I got used to that, and actually I kind of liked it in the end because it gave me time to wake up before I got to college. I mean, your day is really long then, but um, at least I was with it um, for the duration that I was in lectures, so that's pretty good. Um, so I figure the same thing with work. By the time I get there at 9 o'clock, I'm going to be awake, I'm going to be alert, and I can do my job better, so I think it's a good thing. I have blogged long enough, so I'm kind of tired. It's like... 20 to 2 in the morning now, I think I should go to sleep. Um, maybe have another cup of tea and some chocolate biscuits, because my mother has like a sweet tooth for chocolate biscuits. I'm going to get so fat living at home. It's like depressing, but we'll see. <laughs> hey, free rent, free bills, not complaining. Um, so good night, guys. Happy Friday. Happy belated Friday. I know it's Sunday. Monday, actually, at this point. What you gonna do? At least I videoed eventually. <sniffs> Fucked up the schedule, maybe, but videoed eventually. Ciao.